Good morning, everyone. Do any of y'all drink these right here? You know, I drink probably way too many of these. They're probably really bad for me. And I've also been making like iced coffee in the morning and uh, that's been really nice. You can just make it in the fridge. Who would have thought? <laughs> Anyways, so when I first started making this YouTube channel, I made it for you know my clients. They could see what I do in the field and not realizing that the majority of people that would be interested in this YouTube channel is home inspectors. I probably should have had the foresight for that a little bit better because realizing that the only people that would probably think that the stuff that me running around looking at properties is interesting is the people that actually do it. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but it, you know, that's what happened. So what I'm going to do is change up the way that I talk to the audience a little bit, and I'm gonna be talking to you, the home inspector, and then if clients end up watching this, fantastic, you know, learn all you can about properties. So anyways, the first topic I wanna hit is, man, I'm kinda glad that this corona is phasing out a little bit because the past six weeks, six eight weeks i think i went insane a little bit legitimately insane you know i have a very i always like to be doing something my personality i just always need to be doing something i'll even go outside and just run out there and start marketing if i had no work to do whatsoever and i couldn't do that so i had to like just sit there with just me and marry and just ponder about things to do we came up with new marketing strategies that seem to be working which is fantastic and uh that's all on mary mary did a fantastic job with that and i could talk more about that later if you want if you want me to talk about that kind of stuff throw in the comment section so i am i didn't make too many videos in that time period you got some of the old stuff that was in the stock the stockpile on the youtube channel so um i have to start making new content and one of my friends michael marzian told me was that if you don't feel like making content you're or you know you don't have you don't have positive feeling going out don't do it and that's exactly what i did because i didn't want to be making videos whenever i had a bad attitude i guess because it would have came across that i didn't want to be doing it anyways so i'm back at it and i'm going out there and i'm inspecting and whatever content that y'all are most interested in the inspection field i know a lot of new home inspectors watch this stuff just throw it in the comment section tell me what you want to know and i'll do my best to cover the topic i'm not a video specialist i am an inspector and i kind of have a video as a side hobby and i mean like super size super small hobby i mean i use imovie to edit this stuff and we go from there so Today, I have a 2,200 square foot, square foot home in 1977. Brendan, the, my, one of my main inspectors, he's been with us for several years now. He's there already. I'm gonna sh walk around the property and sh talk about it a little bit. But also, one thing that I really love is a 2,200 square foot property. Those are fantastic. Those are my favorite, no matter the year. They could be 100 years old or a, uh, you know, two years old i just love that property 2200 square foot two of them back to back you go home sit on your couch have a cold beer right so i'm not a huge fan of the 9,000, 10,000 square foot don't get me wrong i love doing them but and you make a lot more money doing those but there's something about a simple day of two 2200 square foot homes and you knock them out and that makes a fantastic day you know it's a good day so anyways i'm gonna go hit the property knock it out talked about some of the things that I find and go from there and um, let me know what you think. Thanks guys. Let's go check it out. So when pay inspecting a property, the first thing I do is we'll walk through, open up everything on the inside of the property. I've covered that a few times. If you like that kind of stuff, the routine stuff, just go and watch my routine video. Uh, I did that with my dad, so that's kind of cool. It's a nice video. I'll post it right here. Um, starting on the property, though, I'm gonna. You just pick a point. You want to pick a direction, and then you can say hook a left, stay left, don't pass anything up. Hook a right, stay right, don't pass anything up. So I'm gonna just pick it right here, hook a left, and just start talking about the property. So the first thing here is we have a pretty steep roof. We're able to get on this one. Uh, because you can get on right here on this lower portion and sometimes you can even walk up this and I'd say it's okay to walk up this even though it's that steep 
because if you do slide or fall down you'll you won't fall off the roof but only if you have a really good pair of shoes on but whenever we're looking at the property you want to think about how water's traveling so you're gonna have a lot of water traveling through this area down this roof line falling into this gutter and you can already see this gutter it's taking a small beating you can even see some rollout right here over the gutter so it's not properly supporting that amount of water flow and you can see some cracks right here in the gutter so we'll obviously add this in to the inspection report next item you're going to get questions on all the time about these cracked driveways and they're like oh you know is my foundation bad because a cracked driveway uh, no your foundation's not bad because the cracked driveway typically driveways are only about four inches thick so uh, that is not bad common call out all the time just sealant or cracks around the windows a lot of people do not maintain their home with caulking if you do replace this caulking make sure that you take out all the old caulking and then add in a new bead of caulking uh, for the outside of the property another thing right here with this gutter it's pouring right along the edge of the structure so you want the gutter to actually terminate this way away from the structure because you want you don't water flowing along the edge because all it's going to do is cause erosion underneath the property and you can already start to see it happening the 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 sidewalk will start to slope towards the structure over a period of time and then it won't distribute water properly this next area the windows in pretty rough shape right here you have a, a lot of missing caulking a lot of brick cracks in the area some step cracking in the area right here and you know your first sign for i would say an inexperienced home inspector they're going to be like foundation issues and run off and uh, go grab say you need a structural engineer but you really want to look at more of the property get a bigger picture see if you see movement anywhere else this could just be a really poorly installed window or they have had settlement in the past and and uh, it moved and they've already repaired it so you want to just formulate a whole opinion is it performing is it not and uh, you just document that there's deflection cracks and this window needs to be reset because it is going to leak and also it tells a bigger story like i was just telling you you have the gutter pouring down the edge of the property water's rolling down the property causing a lot of erosion in this area heavier water setting in this area and then you have movement on the structure in this area it's all about the big picture you don't want to look at each item individually you want to look at that one item and figure out why that might be happening you know that is what makes a good home inspector not just calling out each individual individual problems but identifying the problem and trying to figure out what may be causing it next area with these really steep roofs you want to look at them from whenever you're up top look at them on the way down and up you can see there's a lot of lifting shingles here you just want to tell them to relay these shingles down or high winds will damage their roof a lot faster over a period of time it's not going to leak right there but it's just not as pretty and it won't perform during high winds as well next thing is is we recommend to paint this uh, drip edge it is not required it's just a recommendation to help let let the roof last a little bit longer the metal flashing the edge and that the same thing on the front side of this property you can see these gutters are not performing very well and they're getting a lot of little rollout oh man and then even right here you can see that there's no kick out flashing and this is one of the most basic call outs that we're going to call out and you'll always find damage here with uh, no kick out flashing and the fascia board rotted out yeah, so right here where that rot is happening you can all it's about looking at the big picture right so you have all this water rolling down the the property falling into this gutter they're for some reason rolling it back into this gutter to terminate it away so it's obviously overflowing right here the, gut, the gutter's not properly sloped so you're getting a lot of water in this area and no kick out flashing so they're getting all of this water in one area and the number one thing that you're going to find problems with homes is how the the property is distributing the water around the structure repair they're going to need to replace wood kick, add in kick out flashing re-slope the gutter to get this done properly 
The next area of concern where you really want to focus on, it's nice to have these really steep roofs. They do last longer here in Texas. I don't know about other areas, but something away the water travels across the shingle whenever it's a steeper slope, it causes less damage. I don't know the exact science. I just know it happens. Just accept the fact that that happens. But the area that you want to focus on is right here where the roof is flat. Wherever you have flat roofs, you're going to prone to more areas of damage and you can see oh this gutter's not performing either sorry add kicking in but not performing either and it's rolling out and you have some rot appearing in this area but back to the first topic is you really want to focus on these areas especially in the attic area they're really prone to leaking and um, try to make a trip if there's space to look in these areas to try to see if it's leaking or not this next next area especially in the texas area houston texas um, this mar this foliage type here it's not too bad because we can still see the foundation wall but termites love this stuff so you want to make sure that you look along the foundation wall i typically will get my boot back and pull it back away from the structure just to see if i can find those little find the termites already hit the topic in the front but you can see uh, caulking improvements around all the windows and that's going to be again a typical call out you're going to have for all of your homes even five-year-old homes oh man have y'all eaten these before this is a the, like that japanese fruit tree this one hasn't been taken care of but the fruit's not very good if you see these they have one on the trail out in memorial uh, and they're good you can just pick them right off the tree and eat them not today that one those aren't good <laughs> and um you got two units two units and obviously uh this one's a little bit older than this one uh, and you can see it's off level, but man, I don't know what it is. I think this one's probably in early 2000s or late 90s. This rude, this type of unit right here, man, it's a beast. It lasts forever and it's probably working. Yeah, 2002, uh, it looks like about a three ton or three and a half ton right there. So, or maybe a three ton, ah, I'll have to look it up, but um, they they last for a really long time, but you still want to inform your clients running off of R22. R22 is a discontinued Freon now, and if they have to repair it, they're only going to want to replace it, and it's something with the HVAC codes, the reason why they want to do it. And let's see how old this one is. It's a 2009 13-seer, uh, four-ton unit, and it's a pain uh, unit, and we'll just make sure they match in the attic space. And uh, you can see it has a little bit of rust damage on it. We're gonna see if they're performing or not. Okay, on the back side of the property, not recommended, is where you have a ridge vent and a turbine uh, together. There's, I've sat in a class, it was put on by uh, Tapria. They do like these little meetings and what they did, showed is the example of this turbine being next to the ridge vent. The turbine does not pull air from the soffit area. It only pulls air from the ridge vent. So what happens is you start getting a circular motion of air at the top of the structure and it, your attic can, won't be properly ventilated. Uh, pretty interesting. So how you fix that is all they do is they can either remove the turbine or remove the ridge cap. It doesn't matter either way. Uh, but you just want to do either or to have proper airflow through your structure. Common call out right here just from lack of maintenance. They just need to reseal the trim boards around the structure. These are easy areas to get water, insects, bugs uh, in your structure. So you can see it's separated here too as well. Uh, definitely stuff you want to take care of on a regular basis. Every four to five years you need to be recalking this stuff. Right here, it's just, it's about the attention to details. Right here, you can see where this drip flashing is not overlapped uh, in this small corner there. That is an area for water penetration. And uh, let's see if we, oh, yeah, look at that. Right there, you can see where water's making it in that area, rolling out and uh, causing a leak. So something this small can cause some pretty significant damage to your structure. And then we got it again, right here at the top, you can see the old uh, drip edge board right there is completely rotted out. The gutters aren't properly sloped. They're probably getting roll back and roll out on all sides and causing damage to the structure. Gutters can cause a pretty significant amount of damage to your structure. So you wanna make sure that your water, your home is distributing the water properly. Next area, perfect area for termites and 
you know, use satellite dishes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, you definitely want to uh, uh, make sure you definitely want to make sure that you clean all of this debris out. This is something that is pretty prone to termites and termites could even be in here and we don't know so we'll disturb it, kick it around a little bit, try to see if we locate them or not. But then you also want, it's the garage so you want to just pay special attention on those expo exposed boards there. Get a video of this guy if you can see him. <laughs> He's too fast. But that's a carpenter bee and how you can tell it's a carpenter bee is right here. There's holes in the fence and they make these perfectly circle holes and they just go to town and look that one looks even freshly drilled there so uh, there's we have to write up that there's carpenter bees around this structure now too. You got a uh, frass right here right underneath the holes. Nice. So they used I walked right by this the first pass. So this is why you always walk by everything twice. This is a box vent for a roof and they're using it for the range hood vent. It's not leaking, uh, but it's definitely not used for its intended purpose. One quick find on the interior of the property. This is actually right behind uh, the, the chimney and uh, we have a water stain up here. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, well, you might have to believe me. There's a water stain here, and then you can see water's been coming through the structure, and uh, the wall is starting to rot out at the base here. So, and you can kind of see down in here in the crack where uh, there's some water damage on the subfloor too as well. So it's a pretty good find from the inspector, something that the client is definitely gonna wanna focus on. And then uh, we can actually see the water lines running down the chimney on in the, uh, in the living room area so really good find uh, from the inspector today okay i'm gonna wrap it up there i know i didn't get to talk about the property too much on this one uh one of my inspectors down south accidentally damaged the top panel of a garage door opener so i meet my garage door opener company that i refer out and uh meet them down there to get get it repaired so uh, that's Chris with the action. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe and leave a comment for the next type of topic you want at the beginning of the video that I can talk about and uh, we'll go from there. All right, good luck everyone and uh, catch us on the next one. Thanks.